Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The adductor magnus is one of the muscles that when contracted concentrically, it performs hip adduction. Adduction is also called adduction. Hip adduction is when the thigh is moved closer to the midline. The adductor magnus originates on the inferior pubic ramus, the ischial ramus, and the inferior lateral area of the ischial tuberosity. It inserts into the gluteal tuberosity of the femur, the medial lip of the linea aspera, the medial supracondylar ridge, and the adductor tubercle. For the innervation, the posterior division of the obturator nerve innervates most of the adductor magnus. The vertical section, also known as the hamstring portion, is innervated by the tibial nerve from vertebral levels L2, L3, and L4. The concentric actions of the adductor magnus are hip adduction, hip flexion, and hip extension. Again, hip adduction is when the thigh is moved closer to the midline. The origin of the adductor magnus is the inferior pubic ramus, the ischial ramus, and the inferior lateral area of the ischial tuberosity. The insertion is the gluteal tuberosity of the femur, the medial lip of the linea aspera, the medial supracondylar ridge, and the adductor tubercle. Most of the adductor magnus is innervated by the posterior division of the obturator nerve, while the vertical portion is innervated by the tibial nerve from vertebral levels L2, L3, and L4. And the concentric actions of the adductor magnus are hip adduction, hip flexion, and hip extension.